and here we have a video that is completely post-commentary. Um, as you can see here at the start, uh, rounding up the last few star pieces. Uh, some of them, like this one here, I am surprised that I didn't find earlier. Like that one earlier I, that I just, in the freaking cave, I can understand missing that one because I don't pound everywhere. That one I probably should have found, though. This one I certainly passed through the area enough times, but... Yeah, so there were only five of these. They weren't too bad, um, aside from the backtracking, because backtracking is never really fun, especially since I got to go to this place twice. I like how um, they weren't even given in that order when I talked to the fortune teller. Anyway, here's something obviously a bit different. Um, remember a few episodes ago how I was specifically seeking out an Amazing Daisy and couldn't freaking find one for the life of me. Here I was just heading to the Creepy Steeple and there was one that I found on the way, so okay, there's a title for it. And um, here I have an attempt at actually trying to defeat the thing, and this may also be the only time I've ever used Clock Out. I can't remember if I've ever actually used this on screen or not. Or off screen, for that matter. It's not a move that I remember that I have. So I use it, and it works on one of the enemies. And then the one that I care about buggers off, so yeah. Didn't end so well. And then there's one here. Um, I could have sworn I checked this place really well. Apparently I didn't, but that's the last one. So, on the way back, guess what I found? Another one of these goddamn things. So now that I have the title on it, I figure I'll try to beat it again. Do I succeed? Spoilers, yes I do. Um, I would say you will have to find out, but well, I don't know why I would include this footage if I didn't, so yeah. Um, not sure what the best way is to take these things on. This is what I did, though. I was gonna try to use Ice Smash, but decided it would probably run away and be an asshole, so I decided to go for Art Attack, and I beat it. So yeah. This is a uh, post-commentary for obvious reasons. Um, you'll never get to guess what takes up the majority of this video. Um, you'll be finding out in a couple minutes here. It'll be super fun. Um, but yeah. So, I beat this thing. I get a shit ton of experience. These are, uh, probably the best way to grind. Although they are rare, so there's no guaranteed way to find them until you're in, like, the really lower floors of the Pit of 100 Trials, and that takes forever to get to, so... I don't know. I've mentioned this before, um, if there's one thing I'm not doing for 100%, it's getting up to level 99. I honestly doubt I'll even be getting to 30. I think I'm at, like, what, 23? It probably just said a second ago, and I didn't notice. Anyway, here, um, since I upgraded BP, I figured I'd show off what new badges I put on. I just went for Pretty Lucky P, and Power Smash. Nothing too exciting. But the lack of Power Smash had been annoying previously, so I decided to put that one on. And here's the final badge from Dazzle. Does anything interesting happen after you buy all of them? No, it does not. He's just like, oh, I'm out. Oh, well. And then I spent a bunch of money on the Super Luigi books. If you want to read this, feel free to pause. Because I'm not going to read it out loud. I've already read Luigi's version of it, and now his... Uh, glamorized or possibly gone through editing version is here for viewing if you want it. Yeah. And that just leaves going through this thing a million times. Okay, so, um, I think I mentioned this before in some video, I don't remember when, but, um, there's a few bad, or there's, yeah, there's exactly two badges that are exclusive to the Pianta Parlor. Uh, one of them costs, like, 36, I think. One of them costs 236, I think. 236, something like that. So, I played this game about a million times. Um, 
I could have just bought the coins, but I didn't because that would have taken money and I was being a cheap ass, so. I got pretty good at this game. What you're not seeing, though, is the, like, half hour of me failing at this minigame, because I'm like, oh, I'll record my last attempt at it. No, I failed this minigame so many goddamn times, you have no idea. I went into this thing with 230 piantas. I went down to, like, 200 before I had to start earning them back, because I kept fucking it up. It was amazing. Like, I don't know how that happened. But yeah, there's my high scores and stuff. So. That's the end of that nightmare. Um, I get to do it a bunch more later. Luckily, you don't get to see that. But yeah, here I go ahead and buy the last couple badges. These aren't the last badges in the whole game. There's still some in the last areas that I haven't gotten. But uh, this is the last one that I can purchase. Money, money, and a refund. And yeah, there we go. So six minutes into the video, got 30 minutes left, and we've got this. All right, so uh, here you get to see me do all of the recipes, and it's sped up about 250%. I could have decided to not show any of this, but there were like one or two people who wanted to see it. And I'm going to subject everyone to it. Uh, that recipe right there, I have to point out, that was for space food. Uh, that one's really weird. You make that one by combining a dried bouquet with any item that heals HP or FP. I mixed it with, like, a honey shroom. Which, by the way, I actually... There were, like, three recipes I did off-screen um, when I was doing the previous segments that you just watched. I, uh... I did the honey shroom, which is just a regular mushroom with honey syrup. Let me look them up again. We've got uh, shroom fry, which is just a regular mushroom, just cooked with nothing else. Shroom roast, shroom steak. I forget how you make those. Let me look them up, actually. I think I've got the website here. Let's see. Shroom roast, I think I did just a life shroom or a slow shroom by itself. Shroom steak, I did a life shroom plus a dried shroom. So, here I'm basically just gathering a bunch of unique ingredients that I needed to get at some point. There's a fucking lot of them. That's what most of this video is, is me going around getting these ingredients, like the horse tail. Did you know this thing was here? Because I sure as hell didn't. You have to get a total of three of them for these recipes. Um... So yeah, that's actually what you get to see here, mostly, is me, um... What you're seeing is the highly optimized version of how to do all the recipes, because, trust me, this could be a lot longer if you didn't plan it out. I spent probably at least two hours going through the entire list of recipes, figuring out the best way to make them, because most of them have multiple recipes that you can use, um, trying to combine stuff as much as possible, writing down exactly how many of each item I needed, and somewhat planning a route to get them all. Um, as you can see here, I was not perfect. I didn't remember where the pipes went. There's a couple things here and there that I mess up, but... The total amount of time it took me to do this before speeding it up was an hour and 15 minutes, which is actually not that bad. Also, why the fuck is fresh pasta 50 coins? That has no reason to be that expensive. <laughs> and actually, yeah, um, now, that I'm at the, now that I'm thinking about it, this part here was actually pretty great, because, um, I think I'm down to, like, 18 coins or something, and so I have to pick up the 999 from, uh, Lumpy, or whatever his name is, but I am trying to be as much of a miser as possible with this money, so you'll be seeing some excellent, uh, item management in a bit here. That's honestly the most annoying part about this, is trying to make space for all the stuff that you have to hold both in your inventory and in the store's, like, storage, which I guess is slightly repetitive. Also, I can't even tell what I'm cooking here half the time. Let's see, this one made... Hel oh yeah, there's the two healthy salads. I had to make two of those because you mix one with one type of thing and mix one with a different type of thing to get two different things. That was very generic. I don't know why I said that. 
So, yeah, I got the shroom roast. And is this, am I doing what I'm thinking I'm doing here? Okay. Yeah, so here it is. Uh, zest dinner is a healthy salad plus a shroom fry. Shroom fry is just from a regular mushroom. So I had to make that, combine that with the fresh salad, or the healthy salad. Well, I can't forget these names straight. And then this gets the zest dinner. Yeah. Then I mix the healthy salad with the shroom roast. Oh, no, never mind. Here's here's a good one for you, the courage meal. This one is the zest dinner plus a courage shell. Um, I didn't know what this thing was, but apparently you throw it at enemies. I don't know <laughs> what the hell this is actually supposed to be. You mix a cooked mushroom with a salad and then mix that with a turtle shell to make a weapon. It's freaking beautiful. So yeah, there's the zest special. That's the roast plus the salad. Um... You'll notice I'm saving here a lot because the wiki says that certain recipes have a chance of uh, not coming out right. I never actually did see that happen, so I'm not sure if it's true. But, yeah, you get to watch all of this. So here's me selling stuff. Um, I'm trying to get exactly 40 coins so that I can uh, buy hot sauce because I need four hot sauces. Which I was actually wrong, because I had one in storage that I didn't notice. I only needed to buy three hot sauces, but, uh, whatever. What am I even making here? Spaghetti. Okay, so that's the fresh pasta by itself. Now here is fresh pasta with a turtley leaf to make coup pasta. There's also two other pasta dishes, but luckily you don't have to buy the fresh pasta for each one of them. You can reuse the cooked ones that you just made. So I'm probably just getting those out of my inventory. So, here I'm basically buying stuff that I'm never going to need for anything. Or, uh, rather, I'm withdrawing it so I can sell it back. Trying to get up to 40 coins. So here I need another three. What do I figure, what do I end up selling here? Let's see. Oh, yeah, I think I had, like, more volt. I had two volt trims and I only needed one. God, I am so bad at auto management here, but yeah, anyway. So now we get to go off to Glitzville to buy hot sauce from the random ratatoying guy with a chair fetish. There's a sentence you never thought you'd hear. And yeah, I do plan on fully commentating all of this. I would go off subject in parts, but you have to realize how fucking annoying this was. Like, this is the most unnecessary thing for 100% I've ever seen in my life. Like, I do a lot of unnecessary stuff for 100% in games, like all the trophy collecting I do in the Smash Bros. series, um, the ridiculous lengths I go to to have full com collections in the Pokemon games. This game, this is not as bad as those, but those, like, well, I don't know, I'd say it's worse than some of the trophies, because this is just completely useless busy work. Trophies at least are like meant as a collectible. The recipes I'd never I don't understand the point of. Oh, that right there was me seeing if I could buy a tasty tonic with two coins. I couldn't. I needed three. I was sad. Okay, so now I've got a max amount of coins and uh, place your bets on how many of them I'll have left by the time I'm done. Uh, there I bought a jam and jelly because it's cheaper from him than anywhere else. I had also purchased an Ultra Shroom from him earlier off-screen. Alright, so here I get to take out some crap. I don't... I think this is where I completely, like, forgot what the hell I was doing. I'm like, okay, I need this item, and then I leave. Oh, wait, I also needed this item, and then I leave. Oh, I needed to d deposit this, and then I leave, like, five times. It was kind of great. I had a notepad open the entire time I was doing this, but that doesn't mean I knew what the hell I was doing. Because trust me, I did not at all. So what am I making here? Spaghetti and hot sauce, which makes spicy pasta. Makes sense. You can also use fresh pasta with the hot sauce, but that would be more expensive, so I didn't. And now I use the slow shroom with golden leaf. 
What do you think this is going to make? You'll never guess. It made a shroom broth, I think it was. Yeah. Which is an item that is not particularly useful, but it is one of many things that you can use to make inky sauce. So I do. So there I made an inky sauce. Here I'm making another inky sauce with the tea that I had made earlier on. I don't remember when I made this tea, but I must have at some point. And I make another one by mixing it with a tasty tonic. So I now have three inky sauces, which I get to use in various things that you wouldn't really expect. Well, the first one... Uh, wait, am I gonna... Uh, coup pasta with inky sauce makes ink pasta. That one makes sense. All right. Moving on to the next group of things, I think. Let's, let's find out. After I deposit and waste more time and buy a fire flower. I'd love to see this thing like completely optimized. I don't know how the hell that would work. So here, let's see what am I making now. Oh, just fire flower by itself, which makes spicy soup. And according to the wiki, this one has a 50% chance of failing, but it didn't. I sure did make that spicy soup. And now I get to mix a golden leaf with an ice storm. And what does that make? Once again, you'll never guess. It makes a snow bunny. <laughs> and then you mix the snow bunny with the spicy soup. And guess what that one makes? It makes a couple's cake. I don't even pretend to understand this one, I think I'm making the Poison Shroom. Yeah, Poison Shroom. Inky Sauce plus Slow Shroom. This is the best recipe right here. Uh, poison Shroom plus Couple's Cake. So two obscure items together. What do you get? You get the Trial Stew. <laughs> the Trial Stew is the best item. Because, let, let me look up the description of this one does. Uh, let's see. Or is it on the list? Uh, reduces your HP to 1, FP to 0, and it restores all your star power. Totally worth it. God. It's the most obscure recipe, and it's so bad. I surprisingly did not sell it immediately. I will have to keep that at some point just to, like, give myself a terrible challenge condition. And now I get to collect a bunch of fruit. So since this part's going to be a bit tedious here, because um, I get to go through this section again, let me read out the list of shit that I had to pick up. Uh, four turtley leaves, three horsetails, one courage shell, two fresh pasta, four hot sauce, two golden leaves, two slow shrooms, two, three ice storms, 11 cake mixes, three keel mangoes, five mystic eggs, two coconuts, four maple syrups, four jam and jellies, three super shrooms, four ultra shrooms, one shooting star, one ruin powder, one peachy peach, one volt shroom, one dried bouquet. Uh, that does not include stuff that you can buy in the, uh, in the store right next to the cooking area because I saw no reason to list those. Um, and it also doesn't include stuff that I've already made before, which was like five things. So yeah, there's a fair amount of stuff. It's, and a lot of it is really weirdly specific items, as you'll be seeing, like these mangoes and the horsetail from earlier. But uh, definitely the best item though is the uh, mystic egg. I've already gotten one of these on screen before, but I had to get more of them, uh, five in fact. And so, you get these things by playing the stupid, like, stump patoonie game, and there's only one question that actually works, because she's too fucking stupid to know any other ones. <laughs> so it's like, you always have to come in, ask her the same question, she'll give you an egg. And to get her to reset, you can't just leave the tree... You can't just leave the tree, the screen that the tree is on. You have to leave the entire area and come back to reset this. And I had to do this five times. 
And I also really want to know what these eggs are, because they look like they're puny eggs, and she's just giving you these eggs for you to cook. Like, do we know if they're unfertilized or not? I bet they're not. <laughs> I bet we're just cooking freaking undeveloped punies. Because, you know, you gotta have them to make the... F what is it called? The love pudding. <laughs> we'll be getting to that one soon. Love pudding. That is like the best one. Alright, so now that my inventory is full of a bunch of unnecessary shit, let's see what I get to make. I've got some mangoes, I've got some coconuts, I've got some eggs. I think I have to go get a cake mix also. That's probably the most annoying one because you need 11 of the freaking things. Um, possibly more if you haven't made any previously because I had to make that one honey candy that, re that required one. But yeah. Um, don't forget, every time you uh, try to leave that place, you get molested. Because you can't walk out with those coins. Lord knows what you'll do with them if you, if you just take them with you. So, let me buy some other junk here. And time to make some more stuff. Cake okay, mix with fire flour to make a... Wait, did I... What did I do? Cake mix plus mango? Is that what I just did? I couldn't tell what I just made. That was, Oh, mango delight, yeah. Cake mix plus mango makes mango delight. Then you mix the mango delight with a mystic egg to make the love pudding. What the hell even is the love pudding? Let me look this one up. Love pudding is... Randomly gives the player an invisible, electrified, or sleepy status. Great. Sounds amazing. Oh, uh, now you get to make egg bombs. And coconut bombs. These ones are frickin' weird. <laughs> you just mix an egg or a coconut with a fire flower, and it makes a bomb. And then when you mix the two bombs together, you get another item. Which she seems very excited about, actually. Yep, Zest Dynamite. And let's see, Akeel Mango with Turtley Leaf makes... I'm not going to look at the list, I've got to guess. Some kind of sauce. Koopa Bun. Alright, we'll go with that. Time to deposit all this stuff that I've been making. I surprisingly do actually end this without having to sell any of the unique items that I've made. Now, some of the unique items are getting consumed in other recipes, mind you, but... Eh. Time to buy a bunch more cake mix. Ten of them. <laughs> Can't buy them all at once. Gotta do them individually, like the frickin' uh, vending machines in Pokemon. While Don Pianta just stands there looking important as you individually buy a bunch of cake mixes. Alright, so what other stuff do we use this cake mix for? I have no idea what I'm withdrawing here. Trust me, it looks like... there. There's times here where it looks like I know what I'm doing. Because I'm like being rather efficient with it, but no, I really don't. I'm making it up as I go along. Alright, so here we get... Oh, I messed that one up. Uh, honey syrup and mango makes honey-covered mango. I don't know. Oh, a fruit parfait. And Donkey loves parfaits. Oh, and here we get to make the mushroom cake, which sounds kind of disgusting. Because I actually like mushrooms, but I don't think I need a cake with them. And here's um, the part where cake mix works for things that aren't exactly cakes, like with the honey candy, because we just made a fire pop, and I'm about to make a, like, shocking pop, or whatever the hell it's called. Just lollipops with elemental abilities. Electro pop, that was it. 
And there goes one of the many jam and jellies. Keep in mind, these things cost 200 coins. I, uh, luckily had been hoarding a few of them throughout the game. I ended up not having to buy very many at the very end. But yeah, you need four jam and jellies and four ultra shrooms, each of which cost 200 coins unless you get them from Charlieton. So, hope you held on to the ones you found. Cake mix plus inky sauce. Squid cake? Is that it? Nope, it's chocolate cake. I had already gotten a chocolate cake earlier, but I didn't make it, so therefore it wasn't in the recipe list. Oh god, this is... Th this is freaking amazing here. Let's put away all that shit. And what do I get to do now? Get more, uh... Get more mystery eggs? I think that's probably what I do next. Also, make note of that end coupon at the bottom. Um, there is a reason for it to be there. And yeah, that was when I noticed I had the other hot sauce, so I sold it. Uh, yep, I think it's time to get more eggs. Oh boy. Which means I get to go into the great tree, talk to Petuni, ask her the same question I've asked her three times now. Get an egg, leave the entire area, come back, and redo it. <laughs> so, since this is going to be a little bit of a repetitive section here, I'm going to take this time to question what the purpose of most of these are supposed to be. Because, um, certainly kids playing the game aren't going to do this. If, uh, like, Justin is to be an example, because, like, they never do any of the optional stuff. Like, who's going to ever decide to go through all this crap and it's not even all that useful either like some of these items do have pretty good effects but if you're smart enough to play this game and know how to make them you're also smart enough to like put together a good badge combination so it's like the vast majority of these are completely worthless like the freaking trial stew like I don't understand why the Trial Stew is even in this game. But I guess it's there just to be laughed at. Watch, I'm going to use that thing against the final boss, and it's going to be excellent. All right, so now that I've uh, loaded up on extra eggs, time for me to use them in things. Oh, also, I think I gained a Super Shroom just from, like, spending a bunch of point or but getting a bunch of points from buying stuff oh yeah and then this shop here is the only place to buy the 200 coin items so i'm just making sure i have the correct number of them i needed one of each so i just have to buy those yeah i'm using up quite a few coins here not sure what i'm doing here Guess just double checking my list. And off we go. Let's see what stuff we make this time. Cake mix plus ultra shroom. I don't actually remember what that makes. Oh, is it the crepe? Or crepe, whatever you call it. Yeah, shroom crap. Mystic egg with itself to make a fried egg. So keep in mind, this is a rare item. And what does it do? It heals 10 HP. That's it. Like, it's really not that interesting. So chalk that up. Like, let's put that on the list of yet another item that didn't need to exist in this game. <laughs> There's some cookies. I don't know what those do. Mystic egg with a horse tail. Could you get more obscure? And what does that make? Omelette meal. All right. And here's the begin of a really fun part. Um, every type of mushroom, well, not not counting the specialty types, but uh, regular mushroom, super. Mushroom and Ultra Mushroom 
combined with honey syrup, maple syrup, and jam and jelly in every possible combination makes a different item. So that's nine different items right there. Um, actually, is it? Yeah, it's nine. Um, wait, no, there's... Is there more than nine? Let me look at the list again. I think it's only nine. Yeah, it's only nine, but that... But, yeah, keep in mind, that leads to really stupid combinations like putting jam and jelly, which is an extremely rare and or expensive item that heals 50 FP, putting it on a regular mushroom that heals 5 HP, and the item does exactly what you'd expect it to. Um, so it's like, in case you're ever in a situation where you really, really need to fill your FP up, and you could also use a tiny little bit of HP, then, uh, that jammin' mushroom, or whatever the hell it's called, jelly shroom or something like that, um, that one might be the item for you. So here I get to go all the way to this frickin' place again, so that I can buy a shooting star, a ruin powder, and a, or an ice storm. Because I think I needed a total of three of these things, and I had already found one somewhere, so yeah. And as, a, as tradition demands, I can never go through this screen without getting attacked at least 25 times. At this point, I've simply stopped giving a shit. Alright, and then here's possibly the dumbest item. I thought the horse tail was bad. I thought the mystic egg was bad. This one, you have to sleep in this particular inn, and you get, wait for it, a peachy peach. This is apparently the only way to get this peach, with the exception of, apparently, like, if you, if you try to do certain recipes, they have, like, a 50% chance of failing, and if they fail, you get either a dizzy dial or a peachy peach. That never happened to me, so I don't know if that's actually true or not. But, uh, that's what the wiki says, and I don't know whether to trust it. So yeah, that's, uh, that's possibly the stupidest item, because it's completely arbitrary. It's used in way too many recipes. I only had to get one of them, because it usually has a substitute, but, uh, I don't know, it's, it's stupid. So, what do we do here? Cake powder. Cake mixed with ruin powder. What does this one do? You'll never guess. You can't guess what most of these are going to be. It makes heartful cake. <laughs> I don't understand why. I don't even know what a heartful cake is. It just made me kept... Every time I saw that, I kept thinking of Hetoful Boyfriend. And so, it's probably the best item because of that. Alright, so maple syrup and ice storm, and we get Zest Frap, or Frappe, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. It's a level from Mario Kart 64, that's all I care about. I think at this point I'm pretty much done. I just have to combine all the different types of mushrooms with all the different types of syrup. And there's, like, a couple other items mixed in with that. So, yeah, I'm basically just trying to empty out my inventory here. And then I have to go over to the other store, buy, like, a bunch of other really cheap stuff. But, yeah, we're pretty much done. It's got, like, a couple minutes left, so. Uh, thanks for sticking with it. I wasn't sure what I was going to talk about throughout. Oh, thanks for that Thunder Rage, by the way. I really needed that. But yeah, um, after this, I'm only going to have a couple pretty brief things to get through. Um, well, no, not that. I don't know what I'm saying. I, I have to get through the final area of the game, which is obvious. And I have to go through the Pit of 100 Trials again, and that's basically it. Um, so this last little grinding session was irritating, but I suppose it could have been worse. 
as much as I complained about this recipe thing, despite not having to do it, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um, apparently Super Paper Mario has like 200 recipes, and even less of a reason to use any of them. So, I'm gonna say right now I'm probably never gonna play that game, but in the event that I ever do, several years down the line, I am... N there's no way I'm going for recipes in that one. There's just... there's no way at all. That that That's a bit too much. But most likely I'm not gonna play that game anyway. There's an icicle pop, and here we have the final recipe. I saved a dumb one for last. It is the Meteor Meal, which I had already found earlier. And so here I just decide to show off my full collection of stuff. There's a few missing things. Um, everything that I am missing is in one of the two last areas I haven't done yet. So yeah, I am completely caught up with everything I can be, and we're ending. The boy in the dump bound, the bound, 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 b